Indeed, sir, or right up until the end of COVID-19, whichever comes first. And the way COVID is behaving, <laughs> it sure as hell ain't going to come before the elections. No, I, I, I'm seriously committed. Um, I think we're beginning to have great success in terms of flows from the IFIs. We just had a confirmation from OFID that the 10 million US that we asked for so that the food assistance program can continue right through until the end of the year. That's been approved. I'll go to the House, if not this Friday, sometime next week, uh, so that we can get the parliamentary approval. Um, the $13 million of the 21 from the World Bank, that has now been approved. There's eight more for agriculture. There are, there are things happening that will put me in a position, and when I say me, I, I mean the, the government, the authorities, in a position to be able to do more in terms of relief for people. And I absolutely want to see that through. The three gentlemen that are aspirants are extremely intelligent, bright enough to know what the constitution says and to know that legally I am in an unassailable position. But you know me, ever the modest fellow, if it is that, uh, Whoever wins would wish to come in as Prime Minister and if that person could get the support of the party for such a move, I would very gladly defer. Well, not very gladly because I, I want to be serious that I do want to see these things through in terms of the pandemic. But if it comes to that, no big thing. I'm going in any, in any case, so if I have to go a few months early, not a big deal.